Afghanistan, a nation known for its tumultuous history, embroiled in violence and poverty. Yet it's also a land of resilience, undertaking a mega project without external aid or advice. For half a century, the country has been caught in a cycle of conflict and hardship, a war ravaged landscape that seems an unlikely backdrop for grand endeavors. But Afghanistan is defying expectations. It's halfway through the implementation of its first mega project, the Kosh Tepe Canal. An artificial river that once completed will stand among the world's largest irrigation canals. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Afghan people, boldly tackling a project of this magnitude with no foreign aid or engineering advice from abroad. So what is this Kosh Tepe Canal and why is Afghanistan building it despite all odds? The Kosh Tepe Canal, a 285 kilometers long, 152 m wide, and 8.5 m deep artificial river, is Afghanistan's answer to a growing water and food shortage crisis. This colossal project is a testament to the nation's resilience, a feat of engineering that seemingly defies the odds, a symbol of hope amidst adversity. The canal stretches from the AMU Darya River in the province of Balkh, cutting through the provinces of Jawan and Farab. It's a lifeline, a conduit of survival, designed to bring water to the parched lands of northern Afghanistan. The project is halfway through, and the rest is being built at a brisk pace, a testament to the urgency of the situation. Neighboring countries sharing the AMU Darya River have voiced their concerns. They fear that the canal may affect their share of the river water, but Afghanistan stands firm. It has vowed to not let that happen, emphasizing its own right to the river's water, a resource it has barely benefited from in the past. The significance of this project for the people of North Afghanistan cannot be overstated. The region has become an arid desert over the past few decades due to global warming, declining groundwater reservoirs, and lack of sufficient irrigation systems. The canal is a beacon of hope, promising to quench the thirst of the land and its people. More than a million Afghanis are set to benefit from this project. It's not just about water, it's about livelihoods. Thousands of farmers are expected to return to agriculture, turning around 55,000 hectares of barren land into flourishing farms. Grains and wheat will sprout where once there was only parched earth. The nation even dreams of becoming a wheat exporter by 2028. This canal is more than just a mega project. It's a lifeline for over a million Afghanis and a beacon of hope for the nation's agriculture. In the face of hardships and adversity, the people of Afghanistan are carving out a path to a better future, one shovel full of earth at a time. The Kosh Tepe Canal isn't only expected to quench the thirst of a parched land, it's anticipated to revolutionize Afghan agriculture. Imagine 55,000 hectares of desert land transforming into lush, verdant farmland. That's the equivalent of 75,000 football fields. This canal, this lifeline, is expected to make that a reality, turning the arid landscapes of northern Afghanistan into fertile farms. This transformation isn't simply about beautifying the landscape. It's about survival, sustenance and self-sufficiency. Afghanistan is a country that has been battered by war and ravaged by poverty. This project is a beacon of hope, a testament to their resilience, and a step towards food security. The canal is set to provide water to over one million Afghans and enable thousands of farmers to return to agriculture. With a strong focus on grains and wheat, the country is ambitiously aiming to become a wheat exporter by the year 2028. This is no small feat, considering the country's turbulent past and the mammoth task of constructing the canal without any foreign aid or external engineering advice. The Kosh Tepe Canal project was launched in March 2022 and is set to be completed in three phases. The first two phases involve the actual digging of the canal, and the third phase is dedicated to the installation of water irrigation systems and other infrastructure. The Afghani National Development Corporation manages the project, and it's fully funded by the government from tax revenues. Initial estimates put the cost at around $500 million, but new estimates predict the need for an additional $100 million. This is a massive undertaking, with limited equipment, a restricted number of experienced engineers and no outside help. 
Despite these challenges, Afghanistan is pushing forward with this monumental project, proving their resilience and determination. Against all odds, Afghanistan is striving to turn deserts into farms, but how are they managing this colossal project? Stay tuned to find out. With limited resources and no outside help, the construction of the Kosh Tepa Canal is a testament to Afghanistan's determination and resourcefulness. Despite the odds, Afghanistan has proven that even in the face of adversity, it's possible to forge ahead with ambition and resolve. This mega-project hasn't been without its critics, though. Some Asian media outlets have been quick to point out the alleged mistakes, carelessness, and questionable engineering methods involved in the canal's construction. Yet these criticisms overlook the meticulous planning and strategic thinking that have gone into this undertaking. The Afghan government didn't just wake up one day and decide to dig a canal. It was a decision born of intensive land surveying and thorough soil studies. They didn't merely send out diggers to carve out a path in a haphazard manner. Instead, they conducted extensive research to ensure that the canal would be as efficient and beneficial as possible. One of the main objectives of these studies was to avoid the need for costly water lifts. By carefully analyzing the terrain, they ensured that the canal would follow a path on flat land with an elevation similar to that of the source area on the AMU Daria River. This strategic planning not only helped to prevent potential flooding during the winter, but also ensured soil compatibility for the canal's construction. But the planning didn't stop there. The government also had to ensure that the canal path was located on the most fertile lands, within close proximity to towns and villages. This strategic location choice would not only maximize the canal's irrigation potential, but also provide a much-needed water source for the local communities. In the face of criticism and adversity, Afghanistan has shown a remarkable ability to plan, strategize, and execute a project of this magnitude with limited resources and no outside help. It's a testament to their determination and resourcefulness, a beacon of hope in a region that has seen more than its fair share of hardship. The Kosh Tepa Canal, a mega-project born of resilience and tenacity, is a testament to Afghanistan's ability to rise above its challenges and strive for a better future.